There's something I want to say to you. And I want you to listen very closely. Because it's very important. The man we just chased from here. We didn't chase anybody. The man who just left the room a moment ago is a very good friend of mine. Is it because I've known him for a long time? Well, there are a lot of people who I've known for quite a while. And some of them, I wouldn't let wipe my dog's ass. Others, I can take or leave. They don't matter to me. But Larry matters very much. The reason being, I can trust him. I know I can trust him. He's honest. Is he honest? Or is he just blunt? He's honest, Bob. He's blunt as well. That sometimes is part of being honest. Because there are a lot of people who are blunt, but not honest. Larry is not one of those. Larry is an honest man. You, too, are an honest man, Bob. I believe that, that somewhere down deep inside of you is something that strives to be honest. The question that you have to ask yourself is, has it touched the whole of my life? What does that mean? That means that you preaching Jesus is no different than Larry or anybody else preaching lubricants. It doesn't matter whether you're selling Jesus or Buddha or civil rights or how to make money in real estate with no money down. That doesn't make you a human being. It makes you a marketing rep. If you want to talk to somebody honestly as a human being, ask him about his kids. Find out what his dreams are. Just to find out for no other reason. Because as soon as you lay your hands on a conversation, to steer it, it's not a conversation anymore. It's a pitch. And you're not a human being. You're a marketing rep. Oh, forgive me if I respectfully disagree. We were talking before about character you were asking me about. Character. And we were speaking of faces. But the question is much deeper than that. The question is, do you have any character at all? And if you want my honest opinion, Bob, you do not. For the simple reason that you don't regret anything yet. You're saying I won't have any character unless I do something I regret? No, Bob. I'm saying you've already done plenty of things to regret. You just don't know what they are. It's when you discover them. When you see the folly in something you've done and you wish that you had it to do over. But you know you can't because it's too late. So you pick that thing up and you carry it with you to remind you that life goes on. The world will spin without you. You really don't matter in the end. Then you will attain character. Because honesty will reach out from inside and tattoo itself all across your face. Until that day, however, you cannot expect to go beyond a certain point. <sighs> May I go now? <laughs>